Okay, so this morning around 4.45 a.m., uh, a handful of us, uh, we woke up super early and we started hiking up Mount Arbel. Now, what's really cool about this place that we are in right now is that some believe that this is actually the mountainside that Jesus went up after he finished feeding 5,000. You know that story, it's in Matthew chapter 14. He had just finished feeding the multitude of people and then he himself goes up on a mountainside to get alone with God to pray. But what he does is he sends the disciples to the other side in a boat. Well, as they get out into the Sea of Galilee, which is right behind me, they encounter this storm. The wind starts raging, the rain starts falling. And here's Jesus up on a mountain, probably praying, spending time with the Father. I've always loved that idea that you cannot substitute being around God with being alone with God. You've got to understand that we need private, intimate time with the Father. Even Jesus, the Word made flesh, took time to get along with God. But as he looks down, he sees the disciples there on the water. He leaves his place of prayer and he makes his way to the Sea of Galilee. And it's probably my favorite story in the New Testament. There Jesus walks out to the boat where the disciples are. He's walking on the water. Tell you what, being up here on this mountain and looking down upon it gives you a brand new perspective. The scale, the size, just the epic idea of Jesus walking there in the middle of the storm. And when he gets there, they're the disciples in the middle of the storm. He sees them and when they see him, they think it's a ghost. But all of a sudden, Peter, he looks at Jesus. And Jesus, he says to them, take courage, it is I, do not be afraid. And with it, Peter says, if it's you, Lord, tell me to come. And there Jesus beckons Peter to him. Peter steps out on the water and he too starts walking on water. It's a beautiful, beautiful story. Today, as I'm sitting here up on this mountain, just thinking about the idea of the gospel and the good news of Jesus, that no matter what you're going through, what you're facing, there's a God who stops his moment and he looks down upon you in your struggle and your storm and your obstacle and he makes his way to you. This really is the gospel story that while we are yet sinners, Christ died for the ungodly. He stepped out onto a stormy night to find us in the middle of the storm. Whatever you're facing today, know that God sees you, God is for you. He's on the way to you. Don't give up now, don't quit, keep trusting. We serve the God who walks on top of storms.